hello guys in this video I'll be showing you how to create a donut chart so here we have a pie chart we are going to be converting this into a donut chart which looks similar to this right here so in order to create the donut chart what we are going to do is create a brand new a new worksheet uh, we are connected to the superstore uh, sample superstore default data set that tab provides um, so in order to create this donut chart what we have to do is we have to create a calculated field and it's going to be a blank calculated field so we're going to assign it a name and give it a put two quotation marks and press ok the calculation is valid so there is nothing in this calculation we are going to convert this calculation into a measure so after we have turned it into a measure, we are going to drag it onto the column shelf. We are going to be dragging this same calculation twice. So here we have. Um, so what we are going to do is we are going to go to the first calculation right here on the left. And we are going to turn this from automatic to, uh, to a pipe and the second one we are going to convert this to let's let's work on the first one first so let's turn this into a pie chart um, so we're going to drag in category to color and we are going to turn this into an entire view uh, drag in our sales and drag in our category onto the label so here we can see is that furniture had sales of seven hundred and forty two thousand dollars and so on right and we can increase the size of this chart there you go so here we have our pie chart and in the second calculated field that we created uh, we're going to turn this into a circle and we are going to increase the size a little bit and we're going to change the color from a white to maybe uh, to, from a gray to a black right and we're going to drag in our sales onto the label so the here's the label here's the, our sales overall sales for this category or overall sales for all the categories right so we're going to bring this number into the middle and we're going to title it sales. So the way we do it is we're going to click on the label mark, go to the text column and we are going to press enter and type in overall sales. We're going to increase the size, bold it and since we have a black uh, circle, we, we're going to be turning this text into white. Press apply, press OK. Afterwards, we are going to change the alignment from automatic and bring it to the middle. Right? So here we have a circle and here we have a pie chart. To bring these together, we are going to go come up here and right click and turn this into a dual axis. Right? and a few things that we can do over here is we can bring in the dollar figure by right clicking over here go to format um, go to fields sum of sales and turn it from <clears throat> turn it into a currency right and maybe we can reduce the decimal basis and here we have the currency to change the background color we can right click anywhere on here click on format go to the shading paint bucket and we're going to change the color of the worksheet to black <clears throat> um, another thing that we can probably do is we can also hide the these um, headers and this header that comes up so in order to hide this is we're going to go ahead and right click on top of it and do show header and uh, so in order to hide the line what we're going to do is we're going to go up here 
to borders, go to row divider and make turn this into none, and the column divider into none as well. And we can also hide the bottom header. So here you have it. So here's a donut chart which shows you uh, sales by different categories and the overall sales in the middle. So if you want to show more than one chart, uh, it is real simple. So we're going to follow the same process. Um, and I'll be showing you that in the next video. Thank you. Thank you for watching.